Moses never came down from the mountain. Where is Moses? It takes him forever to get the Ten Commandments. Can you get him down from the mountain? Where is Shira? I need to grab her Blackberry to email him to come back. I should have given him my Jeep. Take off your golden rings from your sons, wives, daughters, and puppies. Put them in a pile and say, Abra Kadabra. So we can turn this ring into a digital golden calf. That's your new god you should honor. The next will be a big festival, and we will order chocolate ice cream cake from Crumbs. Moses finally got to the top of the mountain. Your people are enjoying chocolate souffle, which is totally unfair. You should take the Sinai Express and tell your people to take the digital idol cat. And remember to save me a chocolate piece. And you should punish them by taking all their devices away for a year. That is a big punishment. Why would you save your people just to punish them so cruelly? People have turned on me and made an idol. They forgot who their real god was. Don't be so angry. What if they are making that golden calf for you as a present for saving them from Egypt? And also don't forget that you swore to Abraham that you would make his descendants as numerous as the stars also let them inherit this land. Everybody is already tired, and they are all very out from living in the hot desert. They also might be suffering from dehydration. And one of the symptoms is memory loss, so they might have forgotten their God. Moses finally got down with the tablets, which were made by God. But when he saw the Israelites dancing and singing, his anger burned, and he threw the tablet in his hands, shattered to pieces. Finally, God decided not to punish the people. Then Moses took the digital golden calf and burned it down with the chocolate soup leaves, but saved one souffle for God as he had asked. Moses said to Aaron, What were you thinking? Don't you know that your real God would never give up on you? Don't be so angry, Moses. Aaron explained what had happened while Moses was away. Moses understood what had happened, so he shouted out to all of the Israelites, Whoever still believes in a real God, come to me. And all of the Israelites ran toward Moses. God told me to tell you that you should give me all your devices. So the Israelites did as he said. God said to Moses, If they do it again, I will punish them. The moral of the story is to never worship any person but your God. The moral of the story is never replace God. In the story, they decide to make a golden calf to replace God. The moral of the story is don't honor something someone just made. Aaron made a golden calf and everyone bowed down to it like it was their God, but it wasn't. The moral of the story is to never leave someone, especially your God, or anyone who you loved before. When Moses saw the Jewish people and the golden calf marching in front of it, he got really mad and destroyed the golden calf. The moral of the story is that you should not replace God with a golden idol or an idol of any kind. Because... That's not your real God. I can't do anything for you. And God, the real God, took you out of Egypt. The moral of the story is you can change, you can change your friends, but you can't change your God.